Good evening, everyone. You are watching Pyro Falcon Plays SimCity, the new one, 2013. And I am your host or player or something, Pyro Falcon. Pretty sure you gathered that already. Um, so we've barely started with the first city. This is uh, Guth Dragon's Den, named after one of my uh, one of my original YouTube fans. And like I've said before, uh, guys, I will be naming all these cities after you guys. So impress me um, with your comments. Uh, but yeah, if if you guys. Um, like I said in the previous episode, I don't know what I'm going to talk about during this Let's Play, and I have no end game. so if you guys want to know things about me or just want me to talk about anything random, just let me know. I am going to try to keep this series clean. So, uh, of course, with my Sims 3 Socialism Challenge, you saw how well that can wind up going toward the end. But anyway, I am trying to keep this clean. But if you guys want me to talk about anything, my work, my personal life, whatever, I'm an open book. Just let me know. Um... So yeah, so region plans. Um, I really don't have a specific region plan for the whole, or I, I should say I don't have a general uh, region plan, but from all the testing I've done, from all the playing I've done, I've found that usually uh, the most efficient methods you should, or the most efficient method you can take um, to getting things accomplished in this game is your first module for your town hall should be a department of utilities and your second should be the department of education because the first city that can get a department of education going and get the university and start researching those projects will benefit the entire region and make things way easier so this so we're going to go for the department of utilities first and uh, we'll follow it with the department of education but of course first we need 5,000 residents to do either and our money is a little low, but uh, in the last episode, you could see that I qualified for an oil well, and this city site has plenty of oil. So we're going to take out a couple loans here, and I am um, unfortunately putting myself in a fairly precarious financial position. However, it will pay off. Um, oil is ridiculously valuable, which uh, should surprise absolutely nobody, and... Okay, let's not place something where I can't see it. This is actually... I totally misplanned this, didn't I? I should have... Well... Believe it or not, this will not be inexpensive. Or this will not be expensive to fix. What I really need is a road to do... That. So... Ugh. Sometimes hate edge scrolling. <laughs> That looks so horrible. All right. Um, all right. So now we do. Oh, yeah. So I can get rid of that one. And now we will place an oil well. Let's see. Let's place it here so I can. Man, that's even actually. That, that, that should work because then I'll get the oil on the. Other side there. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And then we will also place a trading depot. And I'm gonna again rethink how my streets are set up here. Because I need a little bit more room there. So, like I said in the last episode, I'm not really playing efficiently. Um, I don't really intend to play efficiently. <laughs> I'm just having fun with the game. So, um, I'm going to use a lot of curved roads, which uh, curved roads are actually pretty inefficient. Um, for maximum efficiency, you should use straight lines as often as possible. Oops. Come on. Work with me, game. Okay. So we're going to start with just this modest setup. I'm going to keep ten or the 12,000 on hand, just in case I need it. Go away, Windows. Yes, I know how it works. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to keep a little bit of cash on hand just in case something goes terribly wrong, although I don't think it will. And uh, let's see. And then um, I'm going to try to get a second trade depot going um, as quickly as possible. I could afford it now, but, you know, at that point I'd be bankrupt and I have no money to spare since I took out all three bonds. But this will be good enough for now. Now, what I like doing is I like checking my population, uh, my population graph regularly. You can see that I have 122 total, 
or well, 248 total unfilled jobs means we need some residential zones. Now we're getting to a point, unfortunately, where, whoops, a straight line. No, nope, that's gonna look stupid. Oh goodness. Um, oh, I didn't realize there was a path right there. Hmm. That will probably cost me some cash. Let's experiment. That was a phrase I wasn't able to say very much in the... while doing the guide. Let's experiment. Well, we will need... I was going to put the road right behind the uh, coal plant there, but we need room for... Uh, the coal plant to expand eventually. Come on, work with me. There we go. Yeah. Okay, and now... Can I curve it? Nope, it's gonna have to be a straight line. That would be okay. What I'm gonna do is get some uh, beachfront property going on here. Let's see. What if we do that? And I'm losing, see my, my problem, what I was fearing is that I would lose way too much money doing this. <laughs> we will see. That's one thing I like about the new SimCity. The zoning doesn't cost any money. Which makes sense, you know? I mean, ultimately zoning... I mean, in real life is just, you know... Some boundary lines on a map, so... Obviously it should not cost money to zone. Eh, why not? Okay, so... Hopefully that will get us enough population to fill all those jobs, not to mention start letting us turn a profit. And meanwhile, the oil pump will start getting us our first income, and I am really, really going knife-edge with my uh, budgeting here. Yes, I know I put that in the wrong spot. Come on, game. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's good enough. So, not enough what? Not enough medium wealth shoppers. Yes, I know. People will come. If I built it so they will come. You just need to have a little bit of patience here. Ah, oh, goodness. So yeah, so my first city, um, I'm going primarily for oil, and then once uh, I have the money, I'll switch over to education. Not necessarily electronics. I'm going to use the oil money to make good education, and then spread the region out from there, start getting into other specializations in other cities. Um, but other than that, I have no plan. Um, no plan at all. There we go. Now I'm turning a profit. Um, these are now, this is, again, my personal strategy. I like having a knife edge uh, kind of budget going on at first. Um, is that just bugged? Yeah, okay. I just saw this hole in my road. You can <laughs> see it in the zoom levels there. Uh, but anyway, um, I tend to have a knife edge budget uh, at the beginning. And then, um, assuming I survive it, uh, I, I basically start getting a whole bunch of more money when my investments pay off. I'm a boomer in RTS games, and I guess I play SimCity like a boomer. I just try to, I splurge a bunch of cash at first, and hope I survive it, and then if I do, we start worrying about everything else. So let's check our jobs. What? How is jobs still going up? That's, I, I really don't like the numbers that the new SimCity throws at you. It never seems to be really all that accurate. But that's fine. Now the reason I'm leaving this blank is I will eventually take an avenue down this way and curve it off to the left. Um, 
Might even hook up a train station there. Not sure yet, but we will see. Um, but yeah, uh, and this is why I said I was going to time lapse. Um, you guys let me know in the comments if you want me to even time lapse. I, I just, I figure it's probably boring just having me sit here, especially with my strategy of blowing all my cash or this early. There's going to be long periods where I am going to do literally nothing like this. Um, let me know, you know, uh, what you think. If you want me to time lapse it, I will. If you don't want me to type time lapse it, I won't. It's up to you. I built a second truck here, didn't I? I probably didn't need to because my output's crap. 500 barrels a day, which means we only ship every two days. Uh, how did I mismanage? Yeah, okay, I shouldn't have built that road. This was dumb. This whole thing was dumb. This was very dumb, and I shouldn't have built that road. Because now I don't have enough. Because really, when you build your oil well, the first thing you should try to do is add oil uh, oil pump jacks. Because two does not really get you that much cash. But whatever. Um, I'll start slowly expanding out our zones. Why do we need industrial? See, that's again, the numbers thing always bothers me. We have 181 unfilled jobs, yet... The people are demanding a lot of industrial, but very little residential and a lot of commercial. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I've I've thought that the numbers were a little wonky. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if I'm just losing my mind and I'm just missing something or what. But it just seems strange that you know I have 181 unfilled jobs and yet the people are demanding more jobs. It's just strange well, i suppose commercial zones are good are better for just uh better for blah i guess commercial zones are good for more than just jobs they're good for shopping which uh, our advisor has been yelling about here that we don't have enough shopping so whatever whatever dude let's get those buildings up and those taxes raised but um yeah, so if I get really bored here, I'll even open the region up and invite some of you guys if you're interested. I, I already do have a public region, but I haven't played in SimCity in about a month. I haven't played, or not a month, but about a week or two um, as of this recording. Uh, I jumped into SimCity long enough to get some of my IGN work accomplished, like uh, building lists and costs and that kind of thing. But um, I haven't really played the game. It's, like I said, I, I in the last episode i just i, I can't do it I, I can't play games for very long that i've done guides for because it just exhausts me i guess i always look for new challenges i don't know if that's good or bad you know um i've never been exceptionally good at any one game except final fantasy 6 uh, especially not competition games because i never train long enough to get good at a game i just play it for about three months and i'm done and i move on to another challenge i just like new challenges for better or for worse so um, in fact, honestly, as I'm doing this, uh, part of me is screaming at me to play, uh, uh, uh Naruto. Um, I got the new Naruto game, uh, the, let's see, uh, Naruto Shippen, Ship, uh, Shippen, Shippen, uh, uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, sweet fighting game. Um, figured I'd pick that up after I saw the gra game grumps, uh, have some fun with the one before it. Yes, I will do that, I promise, but I can't do it now because we have no cash. Oh, that wasn't even a quest. He was just yelling at me. Jerk. I'm the mayor. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so it's almost 15 minutes, so I'll close out the episode. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said, the, the first couple episodes here are probably going to be uh, pretty dry um, until we start getting some cash flowing, and that might take a little while, so... Um, man, I could have planned this better. Oh, well, it's what I get for not playing it for over a couple weeks. Anyway, I'm Pyro Falcon. You can always follow me on Twitter at that name. Uh, get updates on my latest videos and such, if you're not already a subscriber. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.